Brigade North is conducting a large uh, combined arms live fire exercise. They're having multiple battalions move down through the area while sinking uh, uh, fires from our MORS uh, to their uh, K-9 cannon systems, their mortars, as well as having F-16s flying overhead and, uh, dry, and dropping live ordnance. So the Norwegians will actually uh, generate a target for us. Uh, at that point, they'll be speaking with the Anglico team from the Marine Corps. They will put it in a, in a way that we could actually read it and they will send us the mission. At that point, uh, we'll be able to distribute it out to our platoon uh, who's with the launchers and ready to fire. Yeah, so what MLRS really does for NATO is allows long range precision fires uh, throughout Europe. And uh, we're showing here today, we're up above the Arctic Circle, so we're able to stretch out to the furthest reaches of NATO and provide that capability. I think Norway uh, joined NATO in 1945, knowing that we need some good friends. To have a relevant alliance, we need to train, exercise together and operate together. You know, we've been 20 years in Afghanistan together. Now we take the same procedure back home and use it to defend our own countries. The Norwegians have been very uh, welcoming to us. Uh, we've had a lot of, of, of chance to, uh, to cross-train with them. Our other elements have been able to cross-train with them. Um, not just our field artillery unit. So it's been a really good time. We've, we've been able to learn a lot from the Norwegians.